Hey guys, we are here for a recap of how I've done for the month of January with using up or at least trying or purging um, uh, art supplies that are laying around my art room. Things that I bought and never used, things that I don't use very much, things I bought and don't like. Okay, so in the last month, I have, um, unfortunately, I don't think I've gotten any footage of it, but there have been a couple of boxes that are sort of this size, sort of um, medium flat rate priority mail size. I'll try to put some dimensions in here for you. Um, um, or lar and one is a large flat rate. Anyway, I'll put some dimensions here for you. Um, I have donated at least two boxes to a local family shelter uh, for the um, local families that are homeless or having down on their luck, they have a um, soup kitchen for them. They do art classes for them. They take donations for the families. So when I heard they do art classes, I went, oh, okay. Do you take art supplies from people, right? She said, yeah. I said, oh, good. <laughs> so I have a third box to donate in my car. I've donated two boxes. They were both me um one was a medium flat rate one was a large flat rate and a um paper grocery bag full of stuff already and um then i have um another large flat rate box in the back of the car um, and i've donated everything from markers and crayons i wasn't using to collage papers um some chalk pastels some oil pastels um, some paints like a bunch of stuff so what's not in here, which this is the stuff I've used up, um, then um, it went and got donated, so yay. Um, in this box, I have a bunch of things I used up. So there are a bunch of these spray ink bottles and some homemade ink bottles. I'm gonna insert some footage here of me using them up to dye some paper. So I used a bunch of these up. I got some cookie sheets from the dollar store as you're seeing right now in the film footage. Um, and I used the spray inks I had and a little bit of water and I dyed a whole bunch of paper. Now the paper wasn't anything fancy. It was drawing paper from the dollar store. I used up two pads of paper uh, and um, I used all of my spray inks up except for six bottles that I'm going to keep. I really am not a fan of spray ink. Um, it's not my favorite thing at all, and that's being super nice. Um, but I do use it occasionally. So I have six bottles. That's plenty. That's plenty. I don't need any more than that. I had a whole bunch of it, um, including some that was gifted to me from when I was in, on design teams and things. Um, not that they don't have a bad product. Spray ink is just not my thing. Um, so anyway, I used up a bunch of Lindy's, some homemade, some tattered angels. I don't know. I had a whole bunch of stuff. So I used it all up and, um, two pads of the drawing paper. So that was good. Then I had a bunch of these jars of, uh, paint that you guys saw from last month where I took a bunch of paint that was drying out and some medium. I threw them into jars, mixed it all up to get sort of unique colors that I could use up. These two jars are not empty. They are almost empty. But to be honest, I can't get the lids off. I'm done. I'm done with it. They can go away. I'm ready to have them just disappear. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I can't. I can't get the lid off. And so yeah, um, because I have had a few things this last month where I can't get the lid off. These two that I'm just gonna throw away. I did make sure I went out and bought some Vaseline or just generic petroleum jelly will work. Um, and when you're using a jar of something, before you put the lid back on, wipe off the rim, wipe off the inside of the cap, and coat everything with a good coat of uh, petroleum jelly um, or Vaseline, and um, then put the lid on, and that should prevent a lot of the sticking. I just can't, yeah, I can't be bothered. Um, I had a bunch of glitter glue. This is mostly Stickles brand. And I never use glitter glue, like I don't know, yeah. So anyway, I just squirted it out on some Teflon sheets um, and put it aside to dry. And I made some glitter glue embellishments. I can use these on journal pages, paper clips, whatever. So I, so I use these up, these are done. that away carefully. Um, I used up a paint pen. What else is in here? 
used up a bottle of Murphy's oil soap, but I did have to replace that. Um, I don't remember if this is from this month or last month, but I had some Winsor Newton acrylic sample paints. I used these up. I used up another roll of washi tape. So yeah, Winsor Newton sent at one time sent me some samples to try. And um, I used up the ones that were still good. This blue one, I've had this so long, the blue one's just dry and hard. Like, yeah, so anyway, I'll use that up. Um, I had a needle tip bottle with masking fluid in it that's dried up, so that's gotta go away. Which is why I started doing this, because you get products and like you don't use them and yeah. So I think that's it this month. Not too many big things, but look at all this ink. Oh, this is all ink. The, there's a few bottles, you can see there's a few bottles of glitter glue, but most of this is ink. So that was kind of my focus this month, so. Yeah, on to the next, right? So that's what I used up this month. Um, I'm gonna keep going with this, and as I am doing th projects like um, my faces a day for February, I am going through and trying to do the faces intentionally with products I don't use very much or haven't ever used or haven't used in a long time to use them up, try them out, or figure out if I don't like them so they need to be purged, so. That's where my status is not at now. And if you guys are doing this, I'd love to know where you where you are at with the project. Um, and if you're, you know, if you're trying to use things up or purge or reorganize your studio, how's it going? Um, let's share some tips and ideas and support each other in that. Um, you can leave um, comments, posts, and shares over in my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self Expression. That would be great. If you have any ideas um, for projects to use product products up, um, yeah, I certainly would love to hear about them over there, and I know a lot of other people would too. So let's do let's share some information, and uh, yeah, that's it for right now. So I hope you find this interesting. I hope that you um, get some ideas from some of the footage um, that I shared, and um, some of the footage you're showing. Um, I'm going to insert a little clip right here. Um, one of the things I did do, and I forgot to save the wrapper is I had some Crayola Model Magic Clay, so I used that up making some little bold, molded bee embellishments um, that I've been using now on paper clips. And so I used up the rest of that bag of clay. Um, and I, I don't know why the wrapper's not in here. I guess I forgot. So um, the, on the only thing in here that I've repurchased is the Murphy's Oil Soap. Everything else is not, yeah. Um, so that's it for right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click, click, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Check the video description for any relevant links um, and places to support the free content uh, here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. You can, you know, shop in my Etsy store. I have a PayPal tip jar. I've got a Patreon, YouTube membership, all that stuff. So check out the video description and, um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe purge your art room or clean it and reorganize it so it makes it a little bit more of a happier, stress-free place for you to create in. Yeah? All right, that's it for now. See you later. Bye.